Today on Beyond, a woman's deceased mother reveals herself. She had a mastectomy, didn't she? Yes. Reveals her true spirit. And she has a really wicked sense of humor. And she hasn't changed all that much. Because she says, I have them both here. <laughs> but first, Anthony and Stuart were identical twins, separated by a tragic accident. They were in front of a park on push scooters, and they were hit by a uh, elderly woman. Both of them were hit. Stuart didn't make it. I wanted to give my life so he could live. <sighs> I just wish I started the skateboard park earlier. And this would have never happened. Because that's all they wanted to do was skate. Every day, it's like I'm looking at Anthony and I'm still seeing Stuart. It feels like part of me is missing. And everything we do together we can't do that. Huh? I'd like to know who he met up there and if he's, he's still doing the same things that he was doing here. Using his extraordinary psychic ability to communicate with spirits, he's transformed lives by unlocking mysteries and sharing secrets from the other side. James Van Prague, best-selling author, renowned medium, and your connection to the world beyond. Hi, you're Amber? Yes. Hi, Amber. Nice to meet you. Nice I'm James. You. And you're Anthony. Yes. Good to see you. Welcome to the show. Now, I love, you lost your son, yes? Yes. Your son, that's your brother, and that's who you want to try to contact. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I'll do what I can do to, to help, okay? Okay. Um, <clears throat> who's Josh? Is there a name Josh? Or a friend named Josh? Joshy or Josh? No, not that I know. Okay. Did you go to a, a group, an organization of parents with children or some kind of grief group? Yes. Okay. And did someone lose a son named Josh? I didn't meet everybody there. Okay. There's someone that lost someone named Josh in that group. And I think he's around 15 years old. And I'm being told to tell you that his parents were there. And I want you to go there again. I don't know what it means. Okay. This is just for your confirmation, right? Mm -hmm. um, your brother's here and he's very connected with you, okay? Yeah. And he loves you and he's proud of you and he wants you to know that everything's okay where he is and that things are really um, I'm going to say cool, because it's giving me the word cool, but everything's cool, okay? Um, he keeps, he's very down to earth. He's really down to earth, this kid. What, what about the initials he's talking to me about? SJA's did, initials. Okay, SJA, but did someone call him by his initials or something? You know about this. Think about this. Something with his initials or someone called him by his initials. He had a race car with his initials on it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's not hard, is it? But you, you have that now, don't you? Don't you have that? Do you have the race yes, car now, too? You have the helmet? Uh, yeah. You have his helmet? Yep. He showed me trophies. You have trophies of his yep. also? Yeah. I love the awards and the trophies he has. And he's really kind of cool. Let me tell you, I seem like this. <laughs> <laughs> so it must be the skates, skateboard or something? Skateboarder, yes. Okay. I'm riding like this, okay? I know all the magazines. There are magazines that he wanted or something. You have the magazines, skateboarding magazines or something? They're still coming. Okay, well, he's talking about them. <laughs> he's talking about them, okay? okay? That you have them and you want to keep them coming, he said. Yes. <laughs> he talked to your husband about that and it's like, he's so good, this kid. Hold on. Did you do something with cookies? She, had a cookie, she has cookie jars by the kitchen. Okay, yeah, I don't like that. If, after he dies, <laughs> I mean, that's nice, but um, <laughs> after he passes over, you do something with cookies for him. The chocolate chip cookies? Yes. And did you okay. put, do something with the cookies for him after he died? Hold on. He's been with you on the computer, and you're sitting there, and you're having cookies when he's on the computer, when you're on the computer. Didn't it make sense? Yes. Thank you. Because yes. that's what he's showing me. Okay. Okay? And I know you still do it. Because you're hanging out. You're hanging out. You're on the computer, and the cookie's right there. And he's watching you. He's, he sees that. Um, I'm going to tell you right now that um, he's going to be at your wedding when you get married, and you're going to get married, because he's telling me that. You will. And he's going to be there. And he's going to be your best man. And I know that you two made a pact one day about that. You guys were talking getting older. You know, we'll be best men, this sort of thing. Yes. Remember this? Yes. And he's saying, I'm going to be there for you. I will be there. And he goes, um, this is really interesting. You are 
going, he's watching over you protection-wise, like protecting you because you're both a little wild, you know, you're both wild, <laughs> you know, and um, I want to tell you something which is really interesting with you being wild, and you and your brother are very much the same. I want to go mountain climbing. I want to scale the mountains. Yes. I want, you know, because you talked about this too. I even think you guys went to a place that you can go climb the, uh, you know, you went to this place where you do I the- I my school. Okay. You understand what this means? Yes. Well, you know what this means, yes. right? And he's just showing me that, okay? Did you get something with this picture on it made up? Do you want to get something, a locket? Do you want to get something with this picture? Yes. Or? I have it on. You have it on? Yeah. Is it a heart or something? No. There it is. Okay. He just, there you go. He just showed me uh, this picture in a little metal thing. That's it. Okay. Good. I didn't see that. That's good. I amaze myself sometimes. <laughs> I'm only as good as they are, and he's really good. He's really, really cool. He's really cool. I mean, that's a word, cool. He's really good. I know you want to keep his wallet. I know you have that chain wallet. There's also another wallet of his, which you want to keep, or you have it, like a little wallet type of thing. It folds, like folds this way, just two. It's not a, it's a bifold. Oh, it's in my room. Okay, you understand with the bifold. And you have a lot of his stuff on your dresser, a lot of, a lot of his things in dresser. Yeah, a lot his, of his magazines. Yeah, and uh, you know what? Where are my T-shirts, would you please? I know you want to wear one with, are you wearing one right now of his, his T-shirt? No. Did you think of wearing one today? I was going to. Thank you. That's too sad. <laughs> You've got to be careful, mister. <laughs> I don't want you diving into places you shouldn't be diving. <laughs> I don't know what this means, but like going somewhere you shouldn't dive. I don't know if this is something you guys did together without, without letting mom know. <laughs> Do you remember that? Yeah. <laughs> It'll be our secret. She won't hear us. <laughs> but it's about you guys went dove in this place. You shouldn't have run, you know, shouldn't have, but you guys did that. I know. Oh, she doesn't. <laughs> Off a bridge, we dove. Okay, because you were warned not to when you did it, and he's just telling you about that. He's laughing. He's goofing around, goofing around. <clears throat> Next, James puts all doubts to rest. He's telling me he's going to be on television, and not just here, but he's telling me he's going to go there, and it's going to be televised. Plus. A woman's deceased friend makes her presence known. And didn't she used to make cards with rubber stamp? All the time. And don't you have one of those yes. cards or several of those several. cards from her? This is her talking to you, letting you know she's here. Coming up on Beyond. Anthony's twin brother was killed when they were both hit by a car. We now rejoin James as he helps Anthony and his mother connect. He's a very sports enthusiastic yes, person he here. Um, I'm going to go skydiving with you, and I'm going to keep that promise to you, he's telling me. Okay? Okay. He's going to keep that. And um, he's, all, he's around, um, he keeps on talking about some with a skateboard thing, and he's around that. And something's going to be televised, it's going to be something televised, and he's really proud of it, and he's going to be there in spirit. Oh, that's fantastic. We're building a skateboard park in his honor. Okay, and are you gonna, it's televised, he's telling me, it's gonna be televised. Yes, we did it all through fundraising. Okay, because it will be, he's telling me he's gonna be on television, and not just here, <laughs> but he's telling me he's gonna go there and it's gonna be televised, yes, and um, he's really happy about that, oh. very, very happy about that, and um, it's great. You have him, he's some guy anywhere, he's with you. Okay? Okay. God bless. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. You have a lot of his stuff on your dresser, a lot of, your, a lot of his things in dresser. Yeah, a his, lot of his magazines. Yeah, and uh, you know what? Where are my t-shirts, would you please? Were you surprised that he just ran down this list of stuff? I was And very, you were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was very surprised. Yeah. At first, I didn't believe that psychics could be real, but today I do. You came in here very skeptical then? Yes. What turned you around? What point, what point in the reading for you? When he started mentioning, like, the race car, and he actually knew what he was talking about. I'm going to tell you right now that um, he's going to be at your wedding when you get married, and you're going to get married. Yeah. How old are you? Oh, 14. Oh, 14. You guys were discussing getting married and stuff, were you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Now, did you have a pact? Yeah, we did. Okay. Do you have a girlfriend? No. Oh, okay. Mom's not going to be a uh, mom-in-law anytime soon? No. No, okay. Now, were you surprised, though, that James knew about the pact? I'm very surprised. Mm -hmm. I didn't think anyone pretty much knew besides me and him. Did you get something with his picture on it made up? Do you want to get something, a locket? Do you want to get something with his picture? Yes. Or? 
And it's a picture of both you guys. No, you were... it's it's Stuart when he was a baby, uh -huh. and then Stuart now. Oh, they're both. Well, you guys kind of look alike. I don't want you diving into places you shouldn't be diving. They go with a bunch of kids, and they'd go swimming down at the Withalacoochee River. Well, it's like a big park down there. Uh -huh. And I says, whatever you do, don't jump off that bridge. And what did they do? Jump off the bridge. Right. But I never you're found You're supposed out to about do that, it. though, when you're a kid. Yeah. <laughs> whatever your mom says, you do the opposite. Mm -hmm. Did you do something with cookies? Oh, who are you? You're, Diane. You're Diane, friend of the families. Right. And I understand you have all the knowledge on the cookies. Oh, yes, I do. The cookies. I had to restrain myself. Yes, when James okay. mentioned it. Because you didn't remember. Yeah. Amber, you were, oh, cookies, cookies. But James kept repeating right. chocolate chip cookies, chocolate chip cookies. And you were sitting there thinking what? The boys used to spend summers with me and holidays. And we always used to make cookies at Christmas time or any time we'd make chocolate chip cookies. So shortly after Stuart had passed, I took some uh, chocolate chip cookies to his grave. He's been with you on the computer, and you're sitting there, and you're having cookies when he's on the computer. Did you feel like your brother was with you? Yes, because we have a picture, and it pretty much explains it. What do you mean, a picture? Well, we have it right here. Oh, this is you brought this to the show today. What is this picture about? Well, I'm sitting at the computer, okay. and it's, the, it's two days after our birthday, okay. and if you look in the monitor, you could actually see a face of okay. smiling. Is that a picture you had in the computer of your brother? No, the computer was not on. Okay. That's it just very... showed up there. And... Now, do you think maybe that's your reflection? It can't be. It has blonde hair. I don't have blonde hair in that picture. I have black. Uh, did you go screaming out of the room, or <laughs> what I, was your reaction? I until the pictures were developed. Uh -huh. Oh. I see. And then my mom ran to me and showed me him. And what did you think, Amber, when you saw this? I was surprised. I says, it's Stuart. He's saying hello. <laughs> wow. That is very weird. OK. I took well, the picture. You took the picture? Yes. I Could it be a mistake or some sort of weird thing that happened on the film? No. 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 So. It was one of the throwaway cameras, so. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's interesting. All right, guys, thank you so much. Okay. Thank you, Anthony. Nice meeting you. Thank you. Thank you. And I want to give you um, a lot of, ah, boy, stuff from your dad, which he didn't give you when he was alive. What messages will this man receive from James next on Beyond? We now join James in the audience. And is there someone that has a heli hemo son who's a hemophiliac? Or is there a hemophiliac? I don't know why I'm getting this. My son, I have two cousins that are hemophiliacs. Okay, is it one a boy? No, they're both boys. Both boys, that's mm -hmm. what I'm talking about. Can I come to you? Mm -hmm. Okay. And your father also, please? Yes. Um, this lady comes in who's a mother, and also see there's a father figure here standing here. There's also a brother in spirit also, I will tell you that. I'm not sure it's your father's brother or the mother's brother, but there's a brother also over there, an uncle. There's several. Okay, uh, there's definitely like an uncle feeling here. I see mm -hmm. one, I'm not sure the others yet. Um, who rides the bicycle? And you know about having a bike with a helmet? Oh, sure, when they were younger, yeah. When they were younger, but I, don't, mm -hmm. I want to still go back now, even though they're older, riding a bicycle. Okay, you might not know this. I don't. Okay, would you find out? Mm -hmm. Because um, I want to be, I, there's something on this bike. Oh, so weird. Your mother's talking to me about that. The bike with a helmet, and I want to be careful about that. There's a warning okay. there, okay? Okay. There's someone that passes with a breast condition here. Yes. Breast cancer or breast yes. condition. Is that your mother, please? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. She had a mastectomy, didn't she? Yes. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and she has a really wicked sense of humor. <laughs> yes. Because she says, I have them both here. I didn't want to say it, but she said it, and I had to say it. <laughs> That's great. Because she was concerned about that. It really, she really had concern about this. Okay? Yes. yes. Understand that? Sure. And she loves being with the father, your father. Great. I mean, it's a great connection. And you're the husband, aren't you? Because I, I love you. Are you the kid? Son-in-law. Son-in-law. I love you, too. <laughs> Not me personally. They do. They have family. But <laughs> yeah. I love you. But, um, That's okay if you do. Yeah. And there's a Jim or James or Jimmy? James. Is that you? That's what mm -hmm. I thought it was. Okay. May you stand, Clue, please? 
Did your father also pass over? Yes. Because I want to give you love from her dad for you, okay? And I want to give you um, a lot of, ah, boy, stuff from your dad, which he didn't give you when he was alive, right? Um, I like the motorcycle. I don't know what this means, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. but I don't know if you have more than one motorcycle. You collect motorcycles, or do you have, do you have a motorcycle? H had one. Had one. H He's talking about the motorcycle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I'm glad you're off it, though. I like the motorcycle, but I'm glad you're off it. Yeah. I don't know if you hurt your leg with it. Broke, broke my leg one time. Thank yeah. you. That's what he's talking to me about? Yeah. <laughs> All right? Yeah. And your father's shaking his head like this. No, 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 no. <laughs> and um, do you ever use rubber stamp, a rubber stamp in your business, or did you want to design something with a rubber stamp and thought about using this? I had a really great friend that passed that was really into rubber stamps. Is this a woman? Yes. Okay, this is where I'm going at that. Yes. Sorry. I don't know she ever had a store with the rubber stamps or she'd go to a store with she it. She did. And didn't she used to make cards with rubber stamp? All the time. And don't you have one of those yes. cards or several of those several. cards from her mm -hmm. with the rubber stamps on mm -hmm. it? This is her talking to you, letting you know she's here. Yes. Okay? Yes. And she wants to thank you for being a best friend or a good friend to her. That's nice. Understand that? Mm -hmm. I want to tell you, these people, this is interesting. <laughs> so, you know, we talk about haunted houses and things like that. Well, yours is um, not haunted, but these people are coming to see you. And they come and they, like, take care of things, just make sure everything's all right. So yeah. when you hear knocks and you hear rattling and you hear things going on, you, you know about this, yeah? <laughs> it's, it's them just saying hello to you, okay? I'm going to leave you with that. They're always around you, but I want to leave you with Thank that you so information. Much. You're very Thank welcome. You. Thank you. Thank you. Is someone who passes with a breast condition here? Yes. Breast cancer? She okay. died of breast cancer. James said she had a mastectomy and apparently a wicked sense of humor. She had her breast back, that's what she said, from beyond? That's what she said. She actually had cancer twice. The first time she had uh, breast cancer, and then she had cancer uh, the second time but I'm glad to know that she got it back. So that was a, she, she does Does your a mom have a sense of humor. humor like that? Oh, definitely. She's uh, come to visit us a couple times since she's been gone. And she's kind of played some tricks on us. And she, it's been a lot of fun, actually. So I wasn't. Wait, 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 let's just back I up. Wasn't you surprised. said that real matter of fact. She's come to visit you since she's been gone. Yes. What do you, give me an example. Well, the first time she had been gone for about three months and I wasn't very much into Christmas. I had a, uh, a little music box that's run by batteries and it plays jingle bells. My little granddaughter wanted to put it out. Well, I was just wanting to get through Christmas as quick as possible and I didn't really want to get it out. So I said, oh, we'll do that next year. So I put it back in the box and I put it on the shelf in the garage. Well, that night, which was December the 21st, it started playing jingle bells 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and it didn't have any batteries in it. Was it broken? No. So finally, on January the 26th, I went out in the garage and I said to mom, I said, okay, I get it. Next year, I'll be great during Christmas. It stopped playing that night. It hasn't been back on since. Are you sure about this? Get out. <laughs> I got a lot of witnesses. <laughs> I like the motorcycle, but I'm glad you're off it. 16 years old and uh, I had a wreck and tore a fence down and broke my right leg. And uh, after I healed up though, I, and at that time I didn't even know the motorcycle. It was a friend's, and, but my father then bought me a motorcycle. He had enough faith in me to go ahead and, and buy me one after breaking my leg on one. Was there a wow moment for you that made you kind of shake your skepticism a little bit? Just, just every comment that James made, he's, he's the real deal. He's the real deal? Yeah. You're finished? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank, Thank you. you. If you'd like a chance for a reading with James, send a letter to Beyond, P.O. Box 4399, Hollywood, California, 90078. I just want you guys to know that we think it's so special that you went, you raised the money to open the skateboarding um, park to keep your brother's memory alive. And we have something really, really extra special for you. James? In his memory and for you to keep it going, I want to present you with something very special. So 
Special is the, Special only, is the word. only word. <laughs> Here you go, skateboard, and this is Skateboard Magazines. Ooh. And he talked about that, didn't he? Yeah. Thank you. That's with our love, with our love is a memory, keep going, and know he's always with you. Thank you very much. You're very, Thank very you. welcome. So all you out there, you. you take care of each other. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye now. <laughs>